Hello everyone, my name is Kailash and welcome to another video. Today we are going to burn the bootloader for the 80 tiny 85 But that's not all. We are going to overclock it just a bit to 16.5 MHz by installing the Micronucleus bootloader. Once we do that, we will be able to program the Digispark 80 tiny 85 without needing an Arduino as an ISP. It will be directly programmable via USB. All the files and all the important links for today's video will be available in the video description. Be sure to check them out. Before we begin, let us quickly cover what we will need. An Arduino Uno, jumper wires, a Windows laptop, and of course our 80 tiny 85 board. In my case, I'm using the Digispark 80 tiny 85. And also don't forget to install Arduino IDE and the Easy Flasher tool from my GitHub repo. Step 1. Setting up Arduino as ISP or in-system programmer. First things first, we need to set up Arduino Uno as an ISP. To do that, we will burn the Arduino ISP sketch onto the Arduino Uno board. In Arduino IDE, go to Files, Example, Arduino ISP, select the correct port, Arduino Uno, and then upload the sketch. Simple, right? Step 2. Adding DigiSpark board to Arduino IDE. The DigiSpark website for adding boards is currently inaccessible. But no worries, we will use the backup index from GitHub. Go to Files, Preferences in Arduino IDE and add the link in the additional board manager. I have shared the link in the description. Next, we will install the DigiSpark driver for Windows. These are essential for recognizing the 80 tiny 85 board. Again, the driver links are also there in the description and the GitHub repository. Step 4. Wiring the Arduino and 80 tiny 85 together. Now, let's move on to wiring the Arduino Uno to the 80 tiny 85. Pin 0 of 80 tiny should be connected to pin 11 of Arduino Uno. Pin 1 of 80 tiny should be connected to pin 12 of Arduino Uno. Pin 2 of 80 tiny should be connected to pin 13. And pin 5 of 80 tiny should be connected to pin 10 of Arduino Uno. 5 volts to 5 volts and ground to ground. Simple. Make sure the connections are secure before moving on. Step 5. Running the batch file to burn the bootloader. With everything wired up, it's time to flash the bootloader using my easy 80 tiny 85 bootloader flasher script. Simply download the batch file from my GitHub repository and run it. The best part is that it automatically locates the avrdude.exe and avrdude configuration file so you don't need to manually specify their paths. The script will prompt you to enter the COM port of your Arduino Uno. You can find the COM port in the Arduino IDE. Under Tools, Port. Once you enter the correct COM port, hit Enter and the script will burn the bootloader automatically. Step 6. Confirming the bootloader burn. After the process is completed, you will see a confirmation message. That's it. Your 80 tiny 85 is now overclocked to 16.5 MHz and ready for programming through USB. And that's how easy it is to burn the bootloader. As I mentioned earlier, you can find all the important files and detailed steps in my GitHub repository. Don't forget to check the description for the link. Before we wrap up, let me give you a sneak peek of what's coming next. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the next video. Also, if you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment. I will see you in the next one.